Whiskey 8, Oscar Alpha Papa. Roger, Whiskey 8, Oscar Alpha Papa. What's the name there? Name here is Mike. QTH is Owasso, Michigan. Roger, and what radio are you running, sir? Central Electronics 200V. 200 Victor. QSL. All right, Mike, I think we can uh, get you a little fatter there, sir, uh, if you would like. Uh, it starts with the uh, com engaging your compressor at a token amount, uh, a three. Uh, uh, just a three out of, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, if it's a if it's uh, three out of ten, it's a three. If it's uh, a three out of a hundred, it's uh, thirty. Roger. Well, this is a bone anchor from 1962, so it doesn't really have any of those controls. It doesn't have a, uh, a, a compressor? No, the best it's got is a speech limiter. Oh, you have access to that? QSL. All right, well, I guess, uh, is that inboard or outboard? Uh, it's inboard. All right. Uh, tell you what. Uh, why don't you give me about ten seconds on your uh, your antenna and uh, let me look at your audio. Okay. Antenna here is a W5GI mystery antenna, up about uh, 25 feet or so, and uh, it's, I'm tuning it with an LDG uh, 1000 watt automatic antenna tuner. Roger. You're looking pretty good there. About three dB dynamic range. Do you know where? It, does that radio have equalization? No, no, it's just a big old boat anchor. Um, but, you know, I, I just was curious, seeing as how I don't have anything to, to control, uh, what what it was sounding like, uh, just, just uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. Oh, Roger. Well, we still have control, believe it or not. Uh, we have uh, the microphone and how we work the microphone. Uh, try working about three inches further back than where you are currently working that mic. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's the ideal spot for you to be working that mic. Uh, make note of the space between you and the microphone. That's exactly what we want. Now you're going to need to go to your ALC and uh, double check your uh, ALC meter uh, with mic gain in hand and adjust your mic gain to where the ALC meter is running mid scale to two thirds and you're setting a level with your voice going 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, you're keeping that meter up so you can see where it is as you adjust it. Yeah, okay. Well, again, I don't have uh, an ALC meter. Um, I, it's, uh, it's just a bunch of set and forget controls behind a door, really. Um, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, Central Electronics 200V or not. No, I'm not. And you don't have an ALC meter? No, it's just got a power level meter on the front. That's it. It, it does have a scope built in, and uh, the envelope looks good. Uh, okay, well, you know, what we're trying to do there is uh, establish a 3 dB dynamic range. And most uh, most uh, transceiver transmitters are 10 dB uh, dynamic range. Average uh, percent of peak modulation without processing is 30% without processing. So we're trying to get that average peak modulation up from 30% to uh, between 80 and 85 uh, percent and uh, we do that through you know utilizing just a slight bit of uh, compression and then uh, um, the ALC meter uh, running mid scale to two thirds but uh, I understand that you're uh, missing about three quarters of those items <laughs> yeah yeah I'm missing I'm missing quite a few but um, it's a pretty neat rig it's you know it's it's tube rig um, but it's it doesn't. You don't have to, to tune anything. You just set your frequency and go. It's uh, it's got all kinds of broadband uh, coils in it, and I'm also running a, a 600L amplifier from the same company, and uh, it looks like it's doing uh, eh, somewhere around 300 watts or so right now. So anyway, um, yeah, maybe next time I'll, I'll fire up my ICOM 756 uh, Pro 3, and uh, we'll try that out. I just was curious to see. You 
Roger, Mike, uh, did, uh, conditions did kind of uh, deteriorate there, but uh, Roger, I think uh, you're pretty close there. You know, you you do have that uh, that limiter. Now, do you have access to the output of that limiter? That's the question. Can you adjust the output of that limiter? Output of that limiter. Yeah, Mike, I, I guess you've uh, faded out there. Let me try again. Uh, can you copy your KC9 VKV? Uh, Mike, if you get a chance, uh, gosh, uh, join us uh, next Friday, and we'll uh, pick up where we left off there. I think uh, I think you're pretty close. I was just thinking, though, if you have access to the output of that limiter, then you could uh, slightly slightly reduce the output of the limiter and drive it a little harder in the front of the limiter and use it to uh, get a little bit fatter uh, signal that way, but you have to uh, be able to have access to the, the output of the limiter. Anyway, uh, this is a Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. Uh, this is Jim, uh, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.